In today's video, we're gonna show you how to make custom thumbnails like this. So, stay tuned. All right, so you wanna make a custom thumbnail for your video without using Photoshop or having to buy software. That's exactly what we're talking about in this video. So the very first thing you wanna do is to find the video that you want to create a custom thumbnail for and go ahead and click on it. So what we're gonna do is watch the video and make sure you're watching it in HD so that you get the best quality image coming up. And what we're gonna do is just kinda of go through the video and look at a good spot where either you are on the camera or a good area where you think it's gonna make a good uh, thumbnail image. Now, three things you wanna do when you create a custom thumbnail is make sure that there's text on the screen, that it says the keyword or, or whatever the topic of the video is, you are in the video or there is some kind of person on the video and there's something in the background. This comes straight from VidCon who said 90% of the top performing videos on YouTube have those three things in their videos. It's text on the screen, someone's head or face uh, or upper body, and there's something in the background of, of the thumbnail. And so if you look at a lot of our thumbnails, we have people right here, there's something in the background, text on the screen, another one, text on the screen, someone right here, white background. Those are some of our top performing videos and every video we do has a custom thumbnail like that. So once you find the area that has uh, the, the, the picture of what you want in your thumbnail, we wanna take a screenshot of it. And so the best way to do this is just to full screen the video, make sure you're in HD and you wanna take a screenshot of the video. So if you're on a Mac, you hit Command Shift 4, it'll pop up a little cursor thing like this and you can drag and choose the thumbnail area. If you're on a PC, you hit the print screen button. Again, that's the print screen button that will take a copy shot of everything on your screen. Now, once you have that done, we want to go to a site called Canva. It's going to look like this. You can create a free account. It's not going to cost you any money. You log into your account, you go past their little tutorial thing, and you're going to get a screen that looks like this. So what we want to do is go to custom images or custom dimensions, and we're going to do 1280 by 720. Um, the smallest size that we can do is 640 by 360 but we always want good quality images. So we're gonna do 1280 by 720, which is what YouTube tells us is the max size we can do. We hit design, and what they're gonna do is create an area or canvas for us to work on. So the very first thing we wanna do is actually import our screenshot that we, we just did. So we can go to uploads, we go to upload your own images, you take the screenshot, you move it into your program, and then we can adjust it and resize it to our area. Now remember this white area here is the only area we have available. So I'm gonna move this over, make sure I'm on the screen. There we go. So I like positioning myself always over to the right. Now the next thing we wanna do is put text on the screen. So when we put text on the screen, and you can see it just like this, you can you have a bunch of different fonts and formats and styles of doing it like this one right here, where you can do like medieval time or whatever. There's a ton of different ones. I'm gonna delete those because I'm gonna choose something different. Um, but they really have a lot of different ways to do it. You can even do something like a headline like this. So why don't we do this and let's pretend this video is about how to get more YouTube views. So we'll put uh, how to get more and we'll move this over here. And you'll notice that it's actually kind of hard to read the screen. So I'm gonna show you guys a little trick here in a second of how you can fix that. But uh, what we wanna do is, is change it to how to get more YouTube views. You can change the font color. I'm gonna change it to white. And then what we're gonna do is do another headline. Although this one we might wanna do a sub headline and we'll call it how to get more YouTube views and then we can change the, in the font size and increase it. So we'll change it to like 36. And we should actually just make this whole thing bigger. Um, so let's move it to like 56 and we'll move this to 48 and then we'll kind of stretch it out a little bit. And then we'll move this right underneath here. And again, we can still change the fonts so you're not stuck with one set font. I like using Arial, but it doesn't really matter. You can use kind of whatever you want. Let's just choose Antic because the, the font size isn't all that important. 
and then we'll change the font size on this one. Okay, there we go. So you can see that it's kind of hard to read. So they also give you an option of putting in little elements and you can put in grids and shapes and frames and a whole bunch of cool stuff, but we like to use the frames. And so I'm gonna choose a red frame. We're gonna go ahead and resize it. And I'm actually gonna put it over our text, but check this out. We can hit the back button a few times and now it puts it behind the text. So now our text kind of stands out. Um, and I, I really like that. And then we can even make the text bolded if we wanted to, but I think we can just leave it there for now. But if you wanted to, you would hit the little drop down menu and you can go through all these different things like bold and italics and all that stuff. But here's the thing, I always want my text to really stand out. So what I like to do is actually put in a second shape and I actually will put it over my entire image and I will color it black and you'll see why in a second. And then what we do is we hit the drop down menu here and we'll scroll down and hit transparency. I know it's a little hard to read, but we move the transparency down and then I hit the back button a few times until my font is actually on top. So I'm gonna change this to white because you know black on black doesn't look good. So we'll change it to white. And now my, my text really stands out compared to my image. And so we can mess around with different ways to font or font sizes and way to put the font. You can even turn this to yellow and make it even more bright. And we can even change the color of the background of the shape to something else like yellow and then change this to like black. And you can really see how you can start to get your text really starting to pop when you just mess around with the colors like that. And so this is one strategy we like to use to build thumbnails. And again, you can mess around with different fonts and make them like super thick and black and whatever you wanna do. But that's, this is like the easiest way to create custom thumbnails that you can now upload. And we can always mess around with this. So we could go here and choose um, you know, transparency and we can turn it back down or up and kind of see what looks good. And that actually looks pretty decent. So how to get more YouTube views. Now, once you're done creating your custom thumbnail like this, all we're gonna do is go to download and we go download for high quality and it's saving our design. So give it a few seconds. And now our design is ready and it is now able for us to grab. So this is automatically downloaded to our computer. And so the next thing we need to do is go back to our video. We go to the edit options right here. Or if you're inside your video manager or creator, you can go in there and access all your videos and go to the video that you wanna use, which I believe was this one right here. And when you're in here, you hit the change thumbnail you find your image on your computer. It should be under your downloads folder. You go ahead and upload it. It will change it out. Then all you would do is hit save and your custom thumbnail is now in there. Now you can see I use the same technique on a lot of my videos and thumbnails where we put a little bar and we put in our uh, text on top of it with our keyword underneath with different font colors. And those are basically how we do our custom thumbnails. Then we would hit save and that would be our brand new thumbnail to our video. Now, if you go into your settings and you don't have this enabled, you need to make sure that you have the custom thumbnails capability unlocked on your account. Now we're gonna show you how to do that in a separate video. So click on the button right here to learn how to do that and enable custom thumbnails on your account. Now that's it for this video. This is exactly how you create the thumbnails. If you wanna learn more on how to unlock that capability, go ahead and click here on the screen and access that right now. Or if you wanna learn how to use YouTube to grow your business and make money with YouTube, click on this link right here. That's it for this one. This is Brandon from soldwithvideo.com signing out.